Well, hello, I'm David Freeman with Is That Really in the Bible? You know, if you are a parent or if you have grandchildren, you are deeply concerned. You're concerned about an issue of what is called the degeneration of character. You look at your society, you look at the world around you, and you realize things are not getting better. And sometimes you think, what's it going to be like for my grandchildren? What's it going to be like for my children? Because you realize that Human nature is not to, it seems that there, there is a degeneration with human nature, that things do not get better, they only seem to get worse as far as character is concerned. In other words, if you could go back in the 50s, there was a time when, I think it's 50s or before that, but when if a couple went to rent a motel room, you had to show, a man and a woman, you had to show proof that you were married. You had to show a marriage license to do that. So. We see today where anything goes and just uh, we can't even identify what bathroom to go in and things like that, uh, gender identity. So, so you look at your society and sometimes you live in fear when you think about your children, your grandchildren, what kind of a world will they grow up in? And it gets scary, it really does. But there's another degeneration that I want to talk about today, and it is what I call the degeneration of theology. And the way that occurs is you come to a point, as a religious person, you come to a point where you say or believe nothing is holy. Nothing is holy. Now, you can be religious. You can go to church six days a week, twice on Sunday. You can speak. You can, you can preach. You can sing in the choir. You can go through all kinds of religious activity. But in your heart and heart of hearts, in your mind, nothing is holy. Nothing is holy. For example, you know, the Sabbath is a holy day. It's referred to as the fourth commandment, but it's, it's, it's a holy time, a holy day. And somewhere along the way, people came along and said, that's not important. The Sabbath is not important. And religious people said, yeah, I guess it's not. I guess it's not important. It's not holy. The holy days, these are the feast of Jehovah, which are really appointed appointments with God, holy time. But somewhere along the way, people said, ah, holy days, that's, that's Jewish or someone else, you know, not for us. And yet the holy days are in the New Testament. Jesus, the holy days are all about Jesus Christ. They point to his ministry and the work of his ministry. And yet somewhere, people came along and said, they're not important. They're not really holy days. And religious people said, yeah, I guess they're not. I guess they're just not important. Marriage, someone, somehow, somewhere, people came along and said, well, marriage is not holy. You know, and so you have homosexual priests being ordained today. Men with men, women with women. And so, and I guess religious people said, yeah, I guess that's okay too. I guess marriage is not really holy. And then somewhere, someone come along and said, the law of God is not holy. And religious people said, yeah, I guess it's not. It's been done away. It's been nailed to the cross. It's been fulfilled. And somewhere along the way, people have said, well, children are not really holy. And so you have 50 million abortions in America. And, and I guess religious people said, well, yeah, I guess it's just not that important. I guess our children are not that holy. And the way you have the degeneration of character is nothing is holy. Absolutely nothing is holy. Now, I didn't say, again, you can be deeply religious, but in your heart, in your mindset, your relationship with God, nothing, nothing, listen, nothing is holy. Nothing is holy. 